depending on condition, Bedard Young Guns sell for about $400 USD. And 2324 Upper Deck Series 2 Hobby Boxes sell for approximately $330 USD. But what if I told you I know a way you can get your hands on the near equivalent of 2324 Series 2 Hobby Boxes for only $139.99? Well stick around, because I'm going to show you how. What's going on YouTube, Flippin' Out SC coming at you with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're talking about 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 2 and where I believe you'll be able to find the near equivalent to a hobby box of Series 2 for only a fraction of the price. But before I tell you where that place is, if you could consider hitting this video with a like and possibly subscribing if this video brings you value, that would be huge to help the channel as we work our way to a thousand subs. But now, back to where I believe you can get the Series 2 hobby boxes for well under market value, and that place is Upper Deck E-Pack. But wait, before you click off this video, because you don't believe in E-Pack as a site, let me explain. The cards on E-Pack aren't NFTs. <laughs> they aren't online collectibles. They are real, physical cards. They just start online and can be shipped home whenever you like. Now, you may be wondering, why do I believe that boxes of Series 2 on E-Pack will be a fraction of the price compared to the physical hobby boxes? Well, let's take a look at the site and I'll show you. You see, Upper Deck E-Pack doesn't release every Upper Deck product that gets released physically, but they do release Series 1, 2, and Extended every single year. And since I've been using the site each year, all three of these products have come out on E-Pack release day at the same price as the other two. I've never seen E-Pack raise a price after release, nor lower it, except if they're having a sale. Once it gets released, that's the price, no matter how popular or unpopular the product is, as you can see by the fact that they still have 2016-2017 AHL on the site. Now, we can't investigate this too far back, as once a product sells out, you can't see what the product was selling for. But lucky for us, there's still plenty of product from 21-22 and 22-23 left for sale on the site for our viewing pleasure. If we look at 21-22 Series 1, 2, and Extended, all sell for $4.99 a pack or $114.99 a box. 22-23 Series 1, 2, and Extended all sell for $5.49 a pack or $124.99 a box. And finally, 23-24 Series 1 now has half the amount of packs and twice the odds of hitting a young gun, so it's 12 packs per box and sells for $11.99 a pack or $139.99 a box. Basically the equivalent of $5.99 a pack if it were a 24 pack box like prior. Therefore, I can't see Upper Deck changing their strategy even with the likes of Connor Bernard in 23-24 Series 2. I fully believe that they will still sell their boxes and packs at the same price as Series 1. To further my point, Upper Deck E-Pack is a great business model for Upper Deck as a company. They get to sell direct to consumer, with no middleman. They do have a contract with ComC to do their scanning and shipping, but still, even with what they pay ComC, they still probably make so much more on their products using their own site than they would if they sold to distributors. These boxes, at approximately these prices, were making hobby shops a decent margin even after Upper Deck made a profit and the distributors took a cut. Now, Upper Deck cuts both of them out and sells them for around the same price, ensuring that they don't need to raise prices to an insane level like the hobby shops may need to just to make a profit. In the end, it will all come down to how greedy Upper Deck is and how much they really want to squeeze their consumers. So while I can't guarantee that this will be the case and they won't be greedy, I truly believe that they won't raise the price of Series 2 any higher than Series 1's at $11.99 a pack or $139.99 a box. Finally, I want to clarify one more thing about E-Pack versus physical hobby boxes. There are very few differences between these two products, but the one main parallel I know hasn't been in E-Pack boxes in the past few years is the clear-cut parallel. But the Deluxe, Exclusives, Outbursts, Outburst Red, High Gloss, and Coveted Gold Outburst have all been found in E-Pack boxes. So they're very similar and, in my opinion, just as good. You can also create two EPAC exclusive parallels, the Silver Foil and the Speckled Rainbow Foil, which, in my opinion, make up for the missing clear cut, especially if they're much cheaper than the physical. So, if I were you, and I were looking to hop into some boxes and packs at this extremely low price, I would hurry up, get an account, and figure out how things work on Upper Deck EPAC before Series 2 makes its online debut in a few weeks. If you want to learn a few tips and tricks and get a general idea of the site, I'll link a few videos here so you can bypass the struggle of learning on your own and hop right into making deals and swindling your way into big cards. But that's all for this one. I hope this video helps you along your collecting journey, but until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.